You'll need to buckle in for fun because in this video we are learning about the Bill of Rights. You are going to learn what is the Bill of Rights and how it makes a big impact on our lives every single day. Let's start here. What is the Bill of Rights? That's a good question. What does that mean? Hmm. Well, the Bill of Rights is the name for the first 10 amendments to the United States Constitution. The Bill of Rights is a very special part of the Constitution. The Constitution is the highest law in the United States. The Constitution has seven articles and 27 amendments. That's right, seven articles and 27 amendments. The word amendment means a small change to a document. Can you say amendment? Yeah, amendment. Amendment is a pretty cool word to say. There are 27 of these changes in the Constitution. The first 10 amendments are very special. They clearly define so many of our freedoms and liberties. There were many people in Congress who wanted the Constitution to guarantee our rights. Rights are privileges and freedoms that people deserve. They wanted to clearly define our freedoms so that the people of the United States wouldn't experience many of the things they fought to free themselves from during the American Revolution. We have mentioned that the first 10 amendments to the Constitution are called the Bill of Rights. That is what this video is about, but we have to answer this question. What are rights? What are rights? What are rights? Well, rights are freedoms that people deserve. These can be very basic. They are things that all people deserve to enjoy, or they are protections that people deserve to have. So the Bill of Rights could have been called the Bill of Freedoms that People Deserve. But, you know, Bill of Rights sounds better, doesn't it, you know? Here's the thing. The first 10 amendments guarantee and protect our freedoms and limit the power that the government has to do certain things. They also make sure that the powers that are not given to the government in the Constitution belong to the people as long as they are not against the law. Let's learn them. Yeah, you can do it. Remember, there are 10 amendments that make up the Bill of Rights. We are going to look at them one by one, and you are going to learn them! Here we go. The First Amendment. Are you ready? No, no. You know, let us know. You know, are you ready to learn? The First Amendment. It's the first one. This is cool. The First Amendment. Are you ready? The First Amendment is a big one. The First Amendment gives us freedom of speech, freedom to practice whatever religion we want, freedom of the press, freedom of assembly. That means the freedom to gather together. And there are even more freedoms packed into the First Amendment. The First Amendment is a huge deal, and it may be the most well-known amendment in the Bill of Rights. All right, now it's time for the Second Amendment. The Second Amendment, Amendment number two. The Second Amendment gives us the right to bear arms. We couldn't resist featuring Clarence here, okay? But this isn't talking about actual bear arms, okay? This amendment doesn't mean we all have the freedom to have the arms of a bear. To bear arms means to carry a weapon. There are different perspectives on this amendment. Ask a parent or a teacher about this amendment to learn more. All right, it's time for the third amendment, amendment number three. So what is the Third Amendment? Well, the Third Amendment guarantees that the United States government cannot put troops and soldiers in people's homes without their consent. 
this was an important amendment when it was signed because during the Revolutionary War, the British soldiers were allowed to stay in people's homes even if they didn't want them there. This bothered many of the colonists because it wasn't fair. The Third Amendment made sure that being forced to house soldiers in your home would be a thing of the past. Cool, now it's time for the Fourth Amendment, Amendment Number Four. The Fourth Amendment is really cool. The Fourth Amendment says that the United States government cannot unfairly search or take property from people. For example, before a police officer can search someone's home, they have to have a warrant from a judge. A warrant means that the judge agrees that the police should search that person's house. This amendment protects your private property from getting searched or taken without good reason. All right, the Fifth Amendment, Amendment Number Five. The Fifth Amendment gives people the right to stay silent in court if they decide they do not want to testify. There is a phrase that comes from this amendment. When people say, "I plead the fifth," they are saying, "I would rather not say." If someone does not want to speak, they must not be forced to. The Fifth Amendment also gives people the right to fair treatment in court. Okay, now it's time for the Sixth Amendment. The Sixth Amendment guarantees that people have a speedy and public trial. The word "speedy" means fast. This means that the government should not put off the trial for no reason, but should bring the trial in a fair amount of time. The Sixth Amendment also gives people who are accused of a crime the right to have a lawyer. A lawyer is someone who represents you in the court of law. If a person cannot get a lawyer on their own, the government has to provide one. The Sixth Amendment also guarantees people the right to know what crimes they are accused of and to speak face to face with the witnesses that are accusing them. All right, it's time for the Seventh Amendment. The Seventh Amendment guarantees that people have the right to be tried by a jury in civil cases. A jury is a group of regular citizens that decide a case instead of a judge. In this picture of a courtroom, where do you think the jury sits? Do you have a guess? Yeah, the jury would sit right here in a place in the courtroom called the jury box. All right, it's time for the Eighth Amendment, Amendment Number Eight. The Eighth Amendment ensures that the court's decisions are fair and just. The Eighth Amendment protects people from punishments that are cruel and unusual. Punishments must be reasonable for the crime. The Eighth Amendment also protects people from excessive bail. Bail is a payment people can make so that they can go home while they await trial. All right, we're almost to the end. The Ninth Amendment, Amendment Number Nine. So, what does the Ninth Amendment say? Well, the Ninth Amendment says that the Constitution does not list all of our rights. We have rights that aren't explicitly listed in the Constitution. For example, you have the right to build a snowman. If you want to build a snowman and play in the snow, you have the right to do that. But here's the thing: it doesn't say that in the Constitution. But just because it's not in the Constitution. Doesn't mean it's not a right of yours. You have these rights that aren't listed in the Constitution. Okay, here is the last amendment in the Bill of Rights, the Tenth Amendment. It's pretty awesome. 
The Tenth Amendment gives the power the United States government doesn't have to the states or to the people. Remember, the United States government is a republic. It's a government for the people, by the people. Hey, thanks for learning about the Bill of Rights with us today, a special part of the Constitution, right? The first ten amendments. Can you share with us something brand new that you learned? We'd love to hear it. You can just put that in the comments section below. We'd love to hear from you and hear what you learned. The Bill of Rights is awesome, isn't it? So cool. And maybe you're like, I already know all this stuff. And it'd be like, oh my goodness, you're like an expert on the Bill of Rights. We hope you had a great time. And we hope to see you next video. Special thanks again to Samantha for sponsoring this video. Click the link below or visit earnwithbooks.com to let her know she is awesome. And if you want to keep learning, check out this video or click the circle to subscribe. That way the fun will never end.